The United Church of Canada affirms that gender and sexuality are gifts of God and that all persons are made in the image of God. Since 2016, the United Church has organized consultations to reflect on the meaning of inclusion and belonging of people with diverse sexual orientations, gender identities, and expressions in the life of churches and faith-based organizations. The most recent, in the Philippines, invited mission and service partners from across Asia into dialogue on how inclusion, belonging, and dignity are contextualized and expressed. What can we learn from each other? How do we inspire each other? Hear more from some participants. Well, I'd like to thank the United Church of Canada for organizing this event. Since 2017, my church has had an affirming statement, victories are still victories. Um, and that there are different siblings outside of the Philippines. How I feel about this program is that it is God's surprise to us. We picked up quite a lot of learning from the United Church of Canada. Uh, where we could uh, see how our own struggles could be further overcome. I think this consultation will help me as a clergy to promote, educate my, my local church and how do we accept, embrace the LGBTQI community. The people is listening, the church is listening from us. Because our voice in somewhere, lot of people welcome to listen or will not uh, welcome to bring it to the church. But here, I feel we are welcome. We are in here and our issues, our human rights will be concerned in the future in the system, in the churches. This space, I think, is uh space where we can be ourselves, we can share our experiences with one another and be strengthened by one another. It brings um, empowerment, liberation, everything was just so intimate and embracing. It helped us to seeing people, a lot of people uh, doing their work in other countries, help us to continue and go on with the ministries that we're doing. All the participants they surprised me with their boldness, with their radicalness, with their queerness. And yeah. So everything about this consultation surpassed my expectations. For you. My question is what, what I can do, how can I share this great experience with those people, and what can I do with them? What can I do for the Japanese queer Christians? And what can we do together? There are people who are struggling because of their uh, gender and sexual orientations. And uh, as an ally, I would like to give them that hope and courage who are struggling to find safe spaces in their respective contexts. They will understand Bible and they will not be judgmental about people having different sexual orientation.